The Impact of VA Programs on Veteran Rights and Safety For decades, veterans have relied on the Veterans Health Administration, VHA, for their health care needs. However, recent findings from the Veterans Affairs Office of Inspector General, OIG, and various studies have raised concerns about the impact of certain VA programs on patient safety, civil rights, and the protected reporting of complaints under 38 CFR 17.33. Patient Safety Concerns Let's start with patient safety. The Office of Inspector General's report to have highlighted several weaknesses in the management of disruptive behavior at VHA facilities. These included inadequate attendance at disruptive behavior committee meetings, insufficient patient notification of orders of behavioral restriction, and incomplete training for staff. These gaps in oversight and training can lead to inconsistent handling of disruptive behavior, potentially compromising the safety of both patients and staff. Civil rights and patient record flags. Civil rights are another critical area of concern. Report 100 revealed that many facilities failed to inform patients about the placement of patient record flags, PRS, and their right to request amendments or appeal. The VHA process of placing a PRF has become secret in most cases due to the missing step of patient notification. This lack of transparency can infringe on veterans' rights to be informed and to challenge decisions affecting their care. The most concerning issue is how this can entrap a veteran into violating patient violence flags and orders never communicated. Recent findings from the Office of Special Counsel, OSC, have revealed significant risks to veteran patients' safety and rights. Today, we will explore the findings from OSC Report, Report DI-22-000680, Privacy and Data Security Concerns. In Report 680, whistleblowers alleged that the VA's Veterans Affairs Integrated Enterprise Workflow Solution Case and Correspondence Management Module, PM, exposed sensitive personal information, PRI, and personal health information, PHI, to unauthorized users one. Investigation substantiated these claims, revealing that searching the system using certain terms returned numerous cases containing PLI that any VIWSC end user could view. This breach of privacy not only jeopardized the safety of veterans, but also violated their rights under the Privacy Act. Report Legal 22 to 82. Mismanagement of sensitive information. Report 682 further highlighted the VA's failure to manage sensitive information properly. The investigation found that the VA did not consistently follow protocols for handling PLI and PHI, leading to potential legal violations and breaches of both OMB and VA policies. Sensitive information and data treated without care. These failures exposed veterans to significant risks, undermining their trust in the VA's ability to protect their personal information. Report DI-22-000742, to Inadequate Oversight and Accountability. In Report 742, the OSC found that the VA's VIDSCC and system lacked adequate oversight and accountability. The investigation revealed that the system's users could access sensitive cases without proper authorization, and there was insufficient tracking of who accessed the information. This lack of oversight put veterans' safety and privacy at risk, highlighting the need for stricter controls and accountability measures. Report the die 20 to 000474. Failure to protect employees from stalking. Report 474 focused on the VA Northern Indiana Healthcare System, where management failed to protect employees from stalking by a veteran patient. The investigation substantiated that Fort Wayne management did not take timely and complete actions to ensure the safety of employees who experienced stalking. This failure to enforce orders of behavioral restriction and follow VA directives not only jeopardized employee safety and entrapped the patient into trespassing, but also highlighted systemic issues in managing disruptive behavior. These OSC reports underscore the urgent need for the VA to address these systemic failures and protect the safety and rights of veteran patients. Ensuring transparency, proper management of sensitive information, and accountability are essential steps in restoring trust and safeguarding veterans' well-being. Indicated. Protected reporting of complaints. Under 38 CFR 17.33, veterans have the right to file complaints about their care. However, the OIG's report 1 129 found veterans denied that right while data collection and analysis of disruptive behavior incidents were inconsistent. Without proper data, it's challenging to develop effective interventions and policies, potentially leaving veterans' complaints unaddressed and systemic failures to become habit. Impact of CRA and delayed implementation of the 2016 Patient Advocacy Program and due process until November 2023. The Comprehensive Addiction and Recovery Act, CRA, aimed to address the opioid crisis but also led to stricter controls on opioid access and allowed for censorship of patient reports after being screened by a program the VHA identified as the PMDB in direct violation of the law authorizing the Clinical Disruptive Behavior slash PMDB program. This has disproportionately affected veterans managing chronic pain, as highlighted in the study Occupational Hazard. 
Disruptive behavior in patients. Veterans in pain are more likely to get a PRF placed on their record than receive effective care. The, the impact of behavioral flags on veterans' rights and safety. Veterans rely on the Veterans Health Administration, VHA, for their health care needs. However, recent findings have raised significant concerns about the use of behavioral flags and their impact on veterans' rights and safety. Next, we will explore the findings from the Office of Inspector General, OIG, and the potential consequences if these issues go unchecked. Behavioral Flags An Overview In 2003, the Veterans Affairs, VA, instituted behavioral flags in the nationwide electronic medical record system. These flags are intended to alert staff about patients who demonstrate physical or verbal aggression, functioning as a warning that the patient poses an increased risk of harm to others. However, critics argue that these flags can be used to punish those who complain about their health care, imposing restrictions that may discourage veterans from seeking needed care one. OIG Findings Improper Use of Behavioral Flags The OIG's report highlighted that a quarter of VA facilities were improperly banning or barring patients using behavioral flags one. This misuse of flags can lead to significant barriers to health care access for veterans. Such actions not only violate veterans' rights, but also undermine their trust in an health care system designed to support them. Impact of Unchecked Behavioral Flags The National Development and Implementation of a Democratized Disruptive Behavior Reporting System in Healthcare Study revealed a massive increase in the reporting of disruptive behavior incidents over a seven-year period. While capturing more data is essential, the study also found that many of these reports involved patients in uncontrolled pain suggesting that the withholding chiropractor, physical therapist injections and medications might be a major contributing to increased frustration, loss of function, and perceived disruptive behavior. Potential Consequences If the improper use of behavioral flags continues unchecked, it could lead to widespread mistrust and reluctance among veterans to seek care. This could exacerbate health issues and lead to poorer outcomes for those who need support the most. Moreover, the lack of transparency and proper notification about these flags can infringe on veterans' rights to be informed and to challenge decisions affecting their care. So while behavioral flags are intended to ensure safety, their improper use poses significant risks to veterans' rights and access to care. Ensuring transparency, proper management, and accountability are essential steps in addressing these challenges. Delayed Implementation of the 2016 Patient Advocacy Program Formalized in VHA Direct Key Tie V1000 and 304, further exacerbated these issues, leaving veterans without adequate support to address their grievances. In conclusion, while programs like CARA and the PMDB aim to improve care quality and safety, they have also posed significant challenges for veterans. Ensuring transparency, providing adequate training, and upholding veterans' rights are essential steps in addressing these challenges. If you or someone you know are being targeted by the VA after making a complaint, the Department of Justice ADA and VA Office of Inspector General might take a report but are unlikely to provide any assistance or protection. Keep your bearing. Always ask for a same-gender provider and stay safe.